San Bonani, yo. So, me personally, I don't like speeches, and I've even said it. It's in my will. At my funeral, I don't want speeches. No, I'm being serious. And I'll tell you why I don't like speeches. Because a part of me feels like we, we box everything and pack everything in real life and save it for speeches at a funeral. And for me, is that we hope that the person that we're speaking to can hear us, but we don't know. So for me, why do we save all this time when we could have told this person what I'm about to say? Because we only imagine what happens on the other side. No one knows if there's even the other side. We live in hope based on our religions and our beliefs that they are on the other side listening. But for me, it's like, why? When are we ever going to learn to say what we feel when we feel it at that time? Chances are 80% of people in this room haven't seen Zahara in months. But we flew and drove from everywhere in the world and made the effort because she's gone. And it's not because we didn't know what she was going through, even when before she went to hospital. So for me, I'm big on telling the person how I feel at the time. And I never run out of, I love you, I care, are you okay? And with Zahara, I just want to quickly say, tell you guys how I met her. I met her before she recorded an album. I met her, she was basking at a restaurant in East London. And she always likes to tell the story, which I was the first person to give her a paper note in her basket. And I, I had a stash of 20 rands. And the only part I wanted was when she went, cling, legge, cling, legge, come, let me see, za. And I go, pinda foot. Cling, legge, ling, legge, cling, nang, season, it's pinda foot. At your hand, the fun color passing, the fun lay, cling, nang, season. And uh, that song was a hit to me before she even recorded it. And I guess that's the song that they discovered her with. And I knew from that time. And I, even that day, I said, if I was a record executive, I would take this girl. But then, as fate would happen, she became one of the biggest superstars that we have. The other day I posted something about how we have failed her as an industry, as friends. Um, we have failed her and we owe her an apology. And I'm one of the people that owes her an apology. And there was a time I remember in I was hosting the Summer Awards and I made a joke about her drinking and stuff. And only later in years you realize what you say to people, how you make people feel, is very important how you make people feel. And I learned my lesson because I took it for granted as a joke. Kanti, you don't know how much you hurt people. And I realized later that I've hurt her. And luckily we had time on earth to reconcile and become friends again. But still she went through a rough time. Where was Somizi? No way. Where were we? No way. When, she, when we could have helped and said, Chomi, you need help on APCNT, we're carrying on with our lives. And we need to internally apologize to her and say we are sorry we can do better what are we learning from Zahara's story is to do better stop making fun of other people's downfalls and here i am now standing as if i was there throughout i wasn't there throughout so 
the biggest lesson I've learned and I hope everyone in this room learns don't ever laugh or make a joke on someone else's downfall if you can't help shut up if you can't contribute positively shut up the same people on social media that keep on saying we've lost an icon did you treat her like an icon i don't think so did you treat her like you are scared of losing her i don't think so but we can change we can do better moving forward anyone who's listening to this let's do better in the name of zahara let's do better let nobody whether famous or not famous go through hell if you can help and help does not mean just monetary help is a talk is a call is a are you okay can i give you a hug and stuff like that let's do better in the name of zahara zahara we are sorry may your soul rest in peace please forgive us and may your soul keep thriving and thriving wherever you are your dreams have not ended they've just ended on earth but wherever you are zahara please keep shining and forgive us we love you thank you